Yo, 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 what's good? My name is LK Fish, and in this video, I'll be talking about what salvia is, my own personal experiences with salvia throughout the years, what the effects of salvia are, and a lot more information. So what is salvia? Salvia is not a psychedelic, rather it's in the disassociative class of drugs. Other drugs that are considered disassociatives are drugs like ketamine, DXM or lean, nitrous oxide or whippets, or even PCP. Disassociatives are a class of hallucinogenic substances and they produce feelings of detachment and dissociation by distorting things like perceptions of sight and sound and altering how you feel about the environment and yourself. Personally, when I consume salvia, I feel as if reality turns into one dimension and everything becomes a flat surface. Now, salvia is actually illegal in 29 states, but in the ones that it is legal, you can just buy it in smoke shops or just order it online. Salvia has also been used by Mazatec shamans, plus used in many religious rituals throughout the world. Additionally, we're using it to help medication research to find pathways for treating things like bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, Alzheimer's disease, chronic pain, depression, mental illness, and even addiction to other drugs. If it is eventually legalized on a federal level, pharmacists do fear that it will be very difficult to run more clinical trials. Currently, the Drug Enforcement Agency, or the DEA, has it listed as a drug of concern. Salvia has not been proven to be addictive, whether that be physical or psychological, it is not addictive. The plant itself is called Salvia divinorum. However, Salvinorian A is the main active molecule that's used to get the psychoactive effects. Usually when people get salvia, it's in the extract form, which looks like little black rocks. That is what's extracted from the leaf to get you the purest high. It comes in many different purity forms as well, ranging anywhere from 10x all the way up to 100x. I recommend starting out with around 20x. Now, the methods of administration is usually just smoking it, whether that be through a bong or a bowl or whatever. But just like with pretty much any other drug, you can still snort it, chew it, or even inject it in your veins if you really bat that life. But definitely the most popular and best way to consume salvia is just to smoke it. When you smoke it, you typically want to hold the hit in for about 20 to 30 seconds, give or take. And if you do it right, as soon as you exhale, you'll immediately be extracted from this reality. So it tends to hit you pretty fast. Now, what are the effects of salvia? So even though it's not a psychedelic, it's still a hallucinogen. So you're still able to trip off salvia. The effects usually last around in the area of 30 minutes. When taken in small doses, you may feel a little euphoric, colors may be more vibrant, it may, it may be kind of meditative, but when taken in larger doses, that's when you start to trip. You usually want to keep seated or lay down because it'll be really hard to walk when you're tripping or it may make you feel a little uncomfortable. But yeah, when you're tripping, it can be pretty intense or overwhelming at first. I definitely get a weird vibe from salvia whenever I use it. Personally, I have many experiences with salvia over the years, and in fact, it was actually the first substance I ever tripped on in my life. The first time I tripped, it was on a golf course at nighttime, so it was closed already. This is back in high school, like I'm graduated from college now, but yeah, my boy packed up a bowl of extract that I believe is 20X and just torched the whole bowl and I just held it in as long as I could until I started tripping. As I lay there, I remember just going places in my head, even though my eyes are wide open. I felt like I went to a classroom. Like I said, I was back in high school at this point. So I, I felt like I went back to school in my, I don't know, it's just weird. And then I remember looking up at the moon, it was a full moon and I just went to the moon. I was, I was just on the moon and it's probably cause you know, stuff seems to be way closer than it is when you're in Sabi, like hence one dimensional. But yeah, I just looked up at the full moon and boom, I was on the moon after like five or 10 minutes or so. I tried to stand up and I went to grab my skateboard, which is on the ground at my feet. And I was just like, why can't I reach it? Why can't I reach it? Bruh. Cause it looked like it was way closer than it was, you know, I'm gone or whatever, but like, yeah, it just looked like it was way closer. Like it weighs up. And I'm like, why can't I grab it? Even though I like, in reality, I had to bend over and grab it, but it just looked like it was way closer, hence like one dimensional, you know? Probably the most profound experience I ever had on Salvia was 60X. Basically that day, prior to taking the Salvia, me and a bunch of my roommates decided to have a little house trip on some shrooms, you know? And knowing me, I had to go the extra step and microdose some Molly as well, cause fuck it, right? So I was already on shrooms and Molly, and you know, I was vibing, got the hippie flip action, we were chilling or whatever, at some point, I had the great idea to do some DMT as well. So I have this vape pen that has these metal coils that heat up when you hit it. So I just loaded up the raw DMT crystal on those coils, laid in my bed, and just blasted the fuck off. And after that little ego death session was over and I'm kind of coming back to reality, 
I look at my nightstand next to my bed and I see that I still have a few whippets left as well. I mean, like, you know, 10 canisters, or whatever. So of course I had to get my cracker and do some nitrous oxide as well. At this point, I'm feeling mushrooms, MDMA, nitrous oxide, and DMT all at once. And I'm thinking to myself, how can I add to this combo to make it even more rad? And then I remember that my boy gave me 100 milligrams of 60X salvia that I was just saving to do for the right time. So in my head, I was basically like, well, what better time to do it than right now? So I get my bong out and I hit that shit. And man, there's really no words to describe what I went through or felt other than I ascended from my body and my consciousness was taken into an unimaginable abstract reality in which I could not interact with anything whatsoever. My soul was simply a spectator of pure, authentic truth. You can interpret that however you would like, but this current 3D reality in which we reside in is not complex enough to accurately describe the emotions and effects I went through that day, let alone salvia itself. At the end of the day, it is impossible to describe the experience of salvia without actually doing it and experiencing it yourself. And I am not condoning the usage of salvia whatsoever, but I will say, if used correctly, salvia can be used as a tool to explore the many truths of the multiverse. If you guys have any questions or need advice or want my opinion on anything, doesn't even have to be drug related, can just be life in general. If you have any questions or want my opinion on anything, definitely comment below. I respond to every single person. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the fuck out of the like button and subscribe and notifications on if you want to see more content just like this. My name is Lowkey Fish. Be love, spread love, and I love you all. Peace out.